Hello everybody, welcome back to another Jay Glitcher's video. I'm so sorry I haven't been posting. I've been at school, all this other stuff, like I've been trying out new VR games. I haven't really been on the algorithm. Also my VR videos haven't been working because it always said no internet symbol. So today I had thought of the idea to make a Minecraft tutorial. I am making something for my normal SMP that I wish was out sooner, but it has a lot of stuff to go through for for my friends. So, I'm going to be make showing you how to make an entire money system in in Minecraft, right? It's just cool. You'll learn how to use a shopkeeper like this to get items. So, it's not one of those things you flick a lever and then you get stuff. So, the first command is gonna be slash score board uh objectives is add money so let's say like you can name this money anything you want but you gotta name it dummy that part so ex uh, add a new objective money successfully the second command will be slash scoreboard and then you're gonna wanna do players add at a mon wait wrong thing money zero see say the money can be anything as well because like the money will be everything so you also the capitals count with the money so you say you name it money with no capitals it has to be money with no capitals but if it isn't uh, you can't use it, but first, I got something to take care of. Now that we have that command down, now we can use the third command. The third command is slash scoreboard objectives tis set display and then sidebar the uh, sidebar and then you're going to want to name it money. And it will show on the right of your screen. You can see it there. It's perfect. It shows your name. And also it will show anybody else's that joins. So once that's done, you can finally go on to the way you get money. So in my instance, I am using diamonds because, you know what, I'm going to change it to emeralds. So the first two command blocks that we're going to use is repeat unconditional and needs redstone. And this one is chain, conditional, and always active. It has to be conditional on this one or else it'll keep adding money for no reason. And it'll completely break the entire game. So, so the first repeat command is going to be slash clear at P emerald zero one. The reason why it's emerald is because I chose it. You can replace emerald for anything that you want to be your currency. So the next thing is going to be slash scoreboard players add at p money one so now look at my money counter and i'm gonna slash game mode s if you walk on top on top of the pressure plate that we set up before and also make sure the arrows are facing the exact same way or else it won't work so when you go on it it takes away also there's like a bunch of commands over there and it takes away until you have no money left or no emeralds left so after gaining the money that you need, you're going to want to go this way. Or not go this way, it's just like... So now that you have a working money system, now we're going to set up the shop system. So this guy is the shopkeeper. He's really cool because I, you can like name it anything you want and all that stuff. And... So you can name it anything you want, like you can make it anything you want, like this, I can like do that. Yeah, I'm just going to change it for this because it's funny. Um, it, you can name it anything, you don't even need to put dialogue. So the first command is going to be slash set block, don't put this, don't put the, don't put the uh, coordinates in yet. And then redstone underscore block, and name it like whatever you want to buy say like we're going to use diamond sword for this instance. So, the way easier way to get the, the get the block position right here, this block position, you're going to want to go into settings and then you're going to want to go to creator and then enable copy coordinate UI. If you do that, 
you can go into T or, you know, go in here and it'll have this block position thing. So now once you go in here, you're going to want to hold that. And then there's this drop down. It'll normally say my position, but change it to block position, exit, go back in and then copy this coordinate right there. Your coordinate has been copied. Now you're going to want to add that to this guy's uh, command right here. And if you don't see a command, all you have to do is press add command. Turn it into button mode, flick this lever, nothing else. And then name it to whatever you want. So, once you do that, you're going to want to go in here. I named all of them so it's easier. So, the command's here. We're going to want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this last one is optional. So the first thing right here is going to be impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. These all are going to be chain, conditional, always active. All of these. Probably except for test, I'm pretty sure. Actually, yeah, uh, all conditional. <clears throat> this one isn't. So we're going to want to go in here. Slash set block, whatever this block was, air. And now, once we do that, that basically sets this block right here, air. So let's say it tests for redstone block, because if you get a redstone block, it takes it. So I'm just going to copy that thing, and then I'm just going to make sure it's in there. I don't want to break anything. And watch this. I break that for now, and there. And it disappears immediately. I just want to place it. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. Let's just put that command right back. No, oh no. Uh oh. I did an oopsie. I did a stinky. There we go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There we go. Now that's there. It's the test command. This one will test if you have enough money. So this is slash scoreboard players test at P money or whatever you named it, 30, or whatever you want the price to be, this is the price, and name it to the max amount. So if you're past a billion coins on mine, you can't really buy anything. You can't buy this if you're past a billion coins. If somebody gets past a billion coins, that would be funny. And I don't think anybody's going to go past a billion coins, so just look at the command really quickly. I'll probably have all the commands in the comments. You can look at that. Remove command. This one will remove the money so slash scoreboard players remove at p money 30 oh my god i'm just gonna just change it so yeah right and then now we have give item so we're just gonna give us the item right so slash give at p whatever your item wants it to be so say you want like diamond sword you'll get that now this is this last command is optional, but it helps a lot and it makes it seem like like high pixel or something. So SFX, name it whatever you want. Slash play sound, random dot orb at p. So now once we do that, we're gonna have money. We can purchase something. So say I want a diamond sword. It does that. Takes away half my money. Now I have a diamond sword or a netherite sword. I'm sorry, I screwed it up. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, I actually got a diamond sword. Okay, I just had another right sword in my inventory to begin with. So now that I have this diamond sword, I can keep buying them. Now I have four, and now once I click this, it doesn't do anything because I still have it. So, basically, you run out of emeralds eventually, or whatever your thing is. So, you don't have enough. You get emeralds. Oh my god, I pressed the clear thing. Uh, yeah, Mojang fixed that. It's really annoying. So go here, and then once you get this, you'll get each money, money thing. You get them, 68, and then you can purchase it. But once you don't have enough money for it, you can't purchase anything. Also, if you want, like, none of the commands to show in ch chat except for the slash give, I'm, prob I'm pretty sure, go to slash game rule. Command block output and then false. Now it shall not. Now it shouldn't show any commands in the chat. So say I want like 64 emeralds again. I'm doing this way too much. Um, 
say you want that, go back to the shopkeeper, and now it doesn't show it in chat except for the diamond sword. It doesn't show anything else in chat. And also, if you noticed, when I also have the emeralds in my inventory, it doesn't show anything in chat when I press on the plusher plate. Before it did. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, go watch the next video when it comes out. Maybe subscribe if you're if you're willing to do that. I don't. I'm not telling you to. So that's how you make a money system in Minecraft. So yeah. Bye.